Hello there, welcome to another video. My name is Wessel and today I will be explaining how you can generate a SegWit address when you are using um, a Bitcoin Core full node. Um, the Bitcoin Core full node, um, or more accurately Bitcoin QT, does not have a option for generating SegWit addresses through the graphical interface, which is an issue for a lot of people. So I'm going to explain to you how you can still um, generate a SegWit address with a few simple steps. So the first thing we need to do is we need to find one of our old normal Bitcoin addresses. Now you can do this in one of two ways. You can go to the receive tab and generate a new payment request. Um, I've got my client in Dutch, so that's why everything um, is probably not making much sense to you. But just make a new payment request and copy the address that you generated. Or you can use one of your old addresses, which is what I'm gonna go ahead and do. This is the address for the donations to Cowlight, and I'm gonna go ahead and copy this address and I am going to paste it in sticky notes right here. This address is important, um, we're gonna need it later. So once we've done that, we want to generate a SegWit address and we cannot do this through Bitcoin QT. So we need to use the command prompt in order to do this. So go ahead and type cmd in your Windows search box and open your command prompt. And then you need to locate your Bitcoin installation folder or your Bitcoin Core installation folder. Now mine is on my C disk at program files and then Bitcoin. Um, yours is probably in, the in a similar directory but it might be somewhere else. Anyhow, navigate to it and go ahead and go to the daemon tab. In here, we've got the Bitcoin client.exe. Do not launch it, but copy the path to the daemon folder. And then in your command console, type cd and then space and then paste your directory. Once you've done this, your command prompt will be set to that directory and we can launch programs that are inside. So what we want to do next is we want to go ahead and do Bitcoin CLI. Um, now, if your data direct uh, directory is unaltered, you do not have to type the next part, but I keep my data directory, so the entire blockchain, on an encrypted volume, which is my A disk. So I'll go ahead and um, tell Bitcoin CLI that it has to look on the A disk for my um, Bitcoin directory or my, uh, my blockchain directory. So go ahead and type um, dash data. Uh, there is, and then between quotes, type a w dot backslash, and then um, Bitcoin Core. There we go. Now what we need to do is we need to tell Bitcoin Cli that we want to generate a SegWit address. We can do this by typing add witness address. And then this needs a seed. It needs an old address in order to be sure to generate a new SegWit address that belongs to you. So that's why we copied the old address from the Bitcoin QT interface. Go ahead and copy it, paste it in here, and then press enter. Now it might take a little while, oh, there you go, before it generates an address. And once it has, you can go ahead and copy that again and paste that in your sticky notes again. Now this address right here, the SegWit address, has to start with a tree. If it does not start with a tree, then it is not a SegWit address. Um, if it does, then it is very likely that it is a SegWit address and that you have correctly followed all of these steps. Anyhow, let's get back to the uh, Bitcoin client. You can go ahead and close CMD right here and let's send a few Bitcoins over there. So let's go to the send tab and then um, go ahead and copy our SegWit address. Um, paste the address right here, type the amount of Bitcoin that you want to move over. I'm going to go ahead and move over 0.01 Bitcoin which is equivalent of about $100. And then um, we have to figure out our transaction fee. 
Now, if we go to bitcoinfees.earn.com, we can see what the current transactions are. Uh, let me just refresh this page. There we go. So at the moment, the transaction fees are anywhere between 1 and 10 shitoshis per byte. And the chance that we get um, confirmed is high. In fact, it will be anywhere between 20 minutes and 6 hours. So I decided to go ahead and just pay about 8 satoshis per byte, which should be enough to get the transaction through in a fairly decent time. So Bitcoin Core wants to know the transaction fee in Bitcoin per kilobyte, which I absolutely hate, but unfortunately it's just the way it is. So one kilobyte is 1000 bytes, one satoshi is a very little amount of Bitcoin. Um, so let's go ahead and do the conversion. We want to pay 8 satoshis per byte, which means that we want to pay 8 times this number times um, the amount of bytes that are in a kilobyte, which ends up to be this very small number right here. Go ahead and copy that number, paste it over here, and uh, well, let's go ahead and send these Bitcoin over. Let's quickly check if everything's correct. Um, 3QU, 3QU. JGZ, JGZ, so the address is correct, we want to transfer 0.1 Bitcoin, which is correct, and our transaction fee is insanely low, which is amazing. Go ahead and hit the send button, now I have to fill in my password, and I am going to um, quickly pause the video here, because I don't want you guys to know how long my password is, for obvious security reasons, so I'm just going to go ahead and enter my password now. Okay, I have entered my password. Um, let's confirm that we want to send 0.01 Bitcoin to our Segwit address. Um, a very, very low transaction fee. I'm going to go ahead and write that down, actually. I want to know how much that is in dollars. 0.001792. There you go. That is an incredibly low transaction fee, by the way. That's amazing. Okay, and let's confirm that we want to send a transaction. Now, off the Bitcoin Go. Um, when you go back to your main overview, you will see that a transaction happened with only the amount of transaction fee that you paid, which is incredibly low. And if we go to our transactions tab, then you can see that we did a payment to yourself. That's the type of payment. We did not add a label, and if we go ahead and take a look, um, we can see the transaction uh, ID and all that, which is amazing. So, yeah, we just um, transferred 0.01 Bitcoin to a SegWit address by using the Bitcoin QT client and Bitcoin CLI to generate the um, SegWit address. I hope this video was useful. Now, obviously, um, this transaction still has to be processed. It it hasn't been mined yet, mined yet, which might take a little while. Um, once it has, it will be confirmed, and if it doesn't get confirmed, then in a few weeks the uh, the transaction will be uh, cancelled. So there's no problem there. Um, yeah, I hope this video was useful for you guys. If it was, then please consider hitting the subscribe button and visiting www.cowlife.nl for more information around Bitcoin and um, new technologies that are going to arise. If you want to support me in making more informational, informational videos and in my development for the C Bitcoin client, which will be a full note client that I'm developing, then consider donating Bitcoin to the address on my website. Again, www.carlight.nl.